ambush. And it came to pass that the king of Egypt died, and the children of Israel sighed by reason of the bondage. And they cried, Oi, God, we're suffering down here. Hello, it's your people. And their cry came up unto God. Huh, what? Oh no, my Jews are suffering. Well, there's only one way to fix that. I'll talk to Moses as a burning bush. Uh -huh. Shut up, you. I am a sexy bush. I hope the fire's not over the top, though. Oh well. <clears throat> Moses! Moses! What the fuck? It's me, God! And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon God. Why are you a bush? A burning bush? Just keeping it real, yo! Okay... I have seen the affliction of my people, and have heard their cry. And I come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians, and to bring them up out of that land, unto a good land. So here's the deal. I want you to go in there and tell them to follow you out. Tell them God sent you. But don't mention the plant thing. They might think you're a little cuckoo. But they will not believe me. For they will say, The Lord hath not appeared unto thee. What is in thine hand? It's a rod. Cast it on the ground. Okay. And he cast it on the ground. And it became a serpent. Put forth thing hand, and take it by the tail. And he put forth his hand, and caught it. And it became a rod in his hand. Well, that was dumb. Put now thine hand into thy bosom. You serious? And he put his hand into his bosom, and when he took it out, his hand was leprous as snow. That's not cool. He put his hand into his bosom again. It was turned again as his other flesh. So, if they don't believe the first sign, show them the second sign. I think they'll believe the first one. The second one, though, that's creepy shit. Great. Okay, we'll be on your way now. But I don't speak of no good. Fine, I'll speak for you too. Why don't you just go do this then? Just, just go. I'll be in your mouth, all right? I still don't think this is a good idea, God. Me, damn it, Moses. Why do you have to be such a little bitch? Just, just go find your brother. I know he can speak well, and thou shalt speak unto him and put words in his mouth, and I will be with thy mouth and with his mouth. Who is in whose mouth? Just, just go. Go before I kill you. All right. Later, Mr. Bush God. Whatever. <sighs> well, I'm not gonna use this stupid disguise ever again. 